We are starting to screen for autism earlier and earlier. Interestingly, even just uh, a few years ago, autism was typically not diagnosed until, you know, usually after five, even in the three to five age range for sure, but a lot of kids um, were even diagnosed later than that. Now we're actually screening, formally screening kids for autism at 18 months and two years old. We do that um, in the clinics by having parents fill out a, a screen and uh, it gives us an idea if there's additional questions or other testing that needs to be done to try and determine if a child does have autism. Um, some of the earliest signs are interaction signs. So even at 12 to 15 and 18 months, you can get some initial signs, such as if a child will follow your gaze, that's a really good sign. So if you look to something interesting and they'll follow your gaze, that's a good sign that they're not autistic. If they'll follow when you point at something, um, that's also a good sign. Um, that they do not have autism. Um, other signs that your child is probably not autistic is if they'll mimic play. So if they'll use a cell phone to pretend to call or text, if that's what you do all the time, that's um, very, very reassuring. If they use a spoon to pretend like they're feeding themselves or if they'll pretend to feed a baby a bottle, that's very reassuring. If on the other hand, they use items for um, purposes just pounding or um, just pushing buttons repeatedly and that's not something that you normally do. Those are the things that would be more concerning. So even as early as 12 to 18 months, you can get some indications um, just by watching your child and seeing if they mimic play and if they follow your interests or your gaze, if they share interests with you by bringing things they're interested to you or pointing to things that they're interested in showing you. Um, those will give, give you a good indication that your child's on the right path developmentally.